Hello, welcome to the ACM CKDV 2021 Time Series and Non Detection Contest. This video is a brief high level overview only, but the exact rules, please go to the official website. In brief, here's how the contest is going to work. We will give you many time series data sets. For each one, the first section is training data and is completely free of anomalies. The second section is test data set and contains exactly one anomaly. Your task is simply this. You need to create an algorithm that for each of the data set discovers the location of the anomaly. That's all there is to it. To support this contest, we've created many data sets with accompanying PowerPoint slides. To be clear, these slides will not be available to you till after the contest is over, but in the short term, it's worth seeing these just to understand where we're coming from. The data set has this file name. The first number is simply data set number. This is a mnemonic name that tells us the domain it came from. In this case, tilt, tilt table, APB, arterial blood pressure. This number here is the dividing line between the training data, shown here in red, and the test data, shown here in green. And the final two numbers here are the beginning and end location of the anomaly. We also have some free text here that explains the domain the data came from and what the anomaly actually corresponds to. Again, to be clear, obviously you don't get this information at the beginning of the contest. You get instead something like this. Just the name of the file and the location that divides the training data from the test data. So your job is simply to examine the red data and then predict the location of the anomaly in the green data. We've noticed that many algorithms differ in how they report anomalies. Some report the beginning of the anomaly, some report the end, some report the middle. It probably makes no difference for this contest because our scoring function has a wiggle room before and after the anomaly exists. Nevertheless, we think the optimal policy would be for any algorithm is to predict the center location of where you think the anomaly might be. It's important to note that although you have many data sets, you should consider them all to be completely independent. As far as we know, there's no mutual information between them that's actually exploitable. It is possible your algorithm could use external data. For example, suppose your algorithm somehow realizes that the data set in question is an ECG. Obviously, this should be done with no human intervention. Then in principle, you could search the web for similar ECGs and use the information to further build your model. We do not think this is going to help you in the slightest but it is in the spirit of fair evaluation to do this. As we mentioned earlier, you can assume the training data is completely free of anomalies and the test data has exactly one anomaly, or equivalently, there might be multiple anomalies, but one that is much stronger or more significant than the others, and that is the anomaly you should predict. You may want to know how can we actually tell this? Well, there's two possible ways. In some cases, we had access to out-of-band data. For example, you might imagine we had an accelerometer placed on a person's leg and made them walk around while we videotaped this. On the videotape, we can see, for example, the person stumble, and using that timestamp, we can actually brush that onto the time series and say that was an anomaly. In other cases, we have data set that we're virtually certain has no anomalies, and we added a fake anomaly. When we did this, we tried to do this in a way to make the anomaly be somehow plausible for that domain. For example, we consulted a cardiologist here who told us a certain kind of heartbeat can get this extra high bump here in the arterial blood pressure. That's basically it. We hope you'll enjoy the contest and we look forward to seeing you all in KDD 2021.